My name is Kirill Karoshenkov. I'm professor of acoustics at the University of Sheffield, and I lead the Pi Boats team. Pi Boats is a six-year program grant from the uh, Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. It aimed to develop a new sensing and robotic technology to be deployed in uh, millions of kilometers of buried pipes. PyBots is a collaboration between uh, four universities, the University of Sheffield, the University of Leeds, University of Birmingham, and University of Bristol. We are also supported by uh, all key major water utilities in the UK and their subcontractors. The program grant scheme run by the Engineering and Physical Science Research Council is a great scheme to use to solve the problem of pipe boards. And the reason for this is because pipe boards consist of quite a number of research challenges, so which needs to be solved together. And these challenges are to uh, develop uh, novel ways of sensing, small enough robots to go into the pipes, robust enough to stay in the pipes undamaged, so clever enough to uh, control themselves through the uh, autonomous control algorithms, knowing where they are through the uh, advanced uh, navigation technologies, and be able to communicate to each other and above ground. Also, uh, the amount of uh, data which these robots can produce is likely to be massive. So therefore, we need the uh, algorithms like machine learning and artificial intelligence, which can deal with this data. So bringing all this together required um, orchestrated program grant and the big enough funding which can bring all the researchers together which address all these issues collaboratively. When PipeBots uh, was announced, that was actually 31st of uh, December 2018, we arranged uh, a launch event in the Royal Academy of Engineering which is a beautiful spot. In response to this, we had about 100 participants from the UK and from overseas, who represented water industry, their subcontractors, and academia who are interested in um, this kind of research. So we use this event also to get feedback from our end users, and also to do scoping exercise, what problems by boards should solve. And this information help us to inform the direction of the research. We organize a series of sprints, which is a short, time-limited events. So we um, set up uh, a uh, target for the sprint, for example, to develop a new robot, or to integrate software on this robot, or to uh, develop new way of uh, controlling this robot. Our sprints was a fantastic uh, way to bring everybody together, to solve a very specific problem. Also was opportunity to uh, get people to know each other, get people to understand uh, each other problems, and also to train uh, researchers to operate to strict deadline. What important things of the sprint actually saw so every single uh, research challenge was demonstrated in the sprint board. It was developed in the uh, terms of the hardware and software in one single prototype. PipeBots gave us fantastic opportunities for collaboration. We have been working together with the sensing team, with the control team, and we have been developing robot navigation algorithms able to work in different pipe networking environments. And imagine small, tiny robots equipped with sensors that have limited computational capabilities operating in this challenging environment. It is a really incredible rewarding to me to work in this multidisciplinary project such as the uh, Pebbles. And uh, at the Bristol University, I have been working on the ultrasonic imaging sensing for this project. Yeah, my role in Pebbles project involves exploring how mobile sensor data provided better calibration. And this has expanded my knowledge and skill in simulation and optimization. I've been involved in some of leading some of the integration work where we're trying to bring bits of our work from across the project together and it's great seeing everyone's different perspectives on things but it's also you know 
interesting challenge trying to help people work together, people from different cultures, different personalities, different technical backgrounds. Every six months we run um, academic team meetings where I brought everybody together. We brought uh, PhD students, researchers, technicians and academics together in the same room or in the same uh, Zoom space when we had the COVID restrictions. When we were all locked in our rooms and only able to talk by computer, but the PipeBots teams managed to work together, including experimental work, um, developing and testing the first prototypes of the robots in, in good collaboration. It was really very impressive how they did that. Because uh, PyPod has uh, been uh, uh, organizing many uh, opportunities for us to collaborate uh, with industry partner, with other academic researchers. Uh, we have uh, many occasions like uh, webinar, seminar, uh, teamwork uh, activities, and uh, industry uh, workshop, demonstration, showcase, many, many things. So as a PhD student at the University of Sheffield, I have the opportunity to work in different projects with PyBots. And PyBots gave me the opportunity to develop as an early stage researcher and expand my network, uh, work with other people from other universities, at the same time uh, collaborate with industrial partners. Working on the ultrasonic sensing allowed me to deepen my expertise within this field especially for the uh, advanced uh, sensing technologies. I started this, uh, working on this project as a PhD student maybe six or so years ago. Since once I finished that, uh, that project, I became a member of staff working on the project as a researcher. So it's directly contributed to my career development in that way, but also indirectly the sort of uh, technical and academic aspects of the project and be able to publish lots of interesting papers, which is useful for career progression for uh, the academic side, but also engaging with industry at demonstrations and collaborating with colleagues internally in terms of uh, delivering seminars and things like that mean that I've got some useful experience uh, for all sorts of uh, lines of work in the future. Just the way they've worked with industrial partners, uh, it's been very strong teamwork and has been very well focused towards listening to what industry needs, identifying and pursuing the correct objectives. That's been very impressive. One of the most successful uh, industry engagement workshops happened here in this laboratory called Eye Care Laboratory at the University of Sheffield. And that happened in June 2023. This industry workshop attracted about 60 participants from um, water industry representing the uh, wastewater and clean water sectors. We use this uh, laboratory space to demonstrate um, different aspects of the technology and science we develop as a part of PyBots. This include um, autonomous robots, new sensing technology, new communication technology, new navigation uh, and mapping technology to find out where these robots are in, in the network. I'm interested in the PyBots because it is an alternative solution for finding leaks. We're always on the lookout for looking at new ideas about how we can find those leaks. Yeah, so PipeBots is really interesting for me um, and I think for the sector as a whole. I've been involved and in tracking the development of PipeBots since the very early days and I was involved in that original project. So it has a special place in my heart um, and now it is really about tracking the developments and understanding the impact that it could potentially have from an innovation perspective but also the environmental and um, financial um, and societal benefits that we will see as a result of a successful delivery of PipeBots. The value of what PipeBots really offers is they've managed to develop really novel advances in microelectronics, in communications technologies, in sensors and robotics uh, to provide some really interesting robotic platforms that can really help to understand and monitor and inspect the pipe network under our feet. And I think one of the strengths that the programme's really had is they've managed to engage really well with industrial partners on the project, particularly the water and utilities companies, who are ultimately going to be the adopters of the technology. But also they've managed to engage with the public as well through public lectures and social media to really ensure that the public understand the value of the technologies that they're going to be offering.
and ultimately that will be for both societal and economic benefit. About three billion litres of water are lost every single day through leaks in England and Wales. This is according to latest figures from the industry regulator. To help tackle the problem, scientists have developed miniature robots that crawl through, through pipes to patrol our water supply network. The publicity we managed to get through uh, media channels were absolutely essential to get brand name of pipe bots out and about. Subsequently, this interest didn't wane out, so I've been interviewed several times by BBC, by uh, Chinese Global Television Network, and uh, by other television networks. As a result, in uh, 2020, we decided to uh, trademark register, so PyBots became a trademark. So PyBots now is used by all UK major water utilities when they refer to robots operating pipes. There are two major follow-on grants which emanated from pipe boards. These grants are sponsored by uh, the UK Offwood Innovation Fund. One grant is called Pipe Boards for Rising Mains, and this is uh, run by Thames Water and Synthetec Limited. Another grant, which is uh, run by Northumbrian Water in collaboration with Minicam, major provider of the uh, robotic inspection technology, is called PyBots Blockage Patrol. Another project which goes beyond the UK, so it is a Pipeon project. It's funded by um, European Union Horizon Co. And this project is led by uh, Technical University of Tallinn. It is to develop uh, autonomous smart robots to operate in uh, wastewater networks, we want to avoid service disruption. And that's the um, focus of the uh, next program grant, which we call FixBot. And hopefully um, the Engineering and Physical Science Research Council will support this idea in the form of the next program grant. I think the future is already very clear. We've got to a good point in the program grant where we've achieved, or they have achieved a great deal. Uh, and the next stage will uh, be, go on to, to set up a centre of excellence. The most important outcome from PyBots is to see the implementation of the science technology in the field. So to see robots operating in the uh, millions of kilometres of buried pipes in the UK and globally. It has the potential to be truly transformative and that's where we are now in terms of the challenges we face. We need some of those really, truly transformative solutions to come forwards. This could change the way we assess the condition and prioritise investment into our buried infrastructure. It takes humans away from the need to be going down into dangerous environments and it just gives us the insight and the foresight for, to be able to head off disasters and to better manage our network so it becomes more resilient in the face of climate change. So the potential of the PipeBots and its legacy uh, that it may offer in the future is a really exciting one because by introducing all these new robotic platforms and enabling us to understand and explore and monitor the pipe network more effectively really can eventually enable us to reduce disruption of digging up roads to find the problem, uh, which actually could offer a lot more benefit not only to the economy but also to the public in terms of uh, complete you know, uninterruption of their utility services. One nice future we all can imagine is uh, below us there are millions of buried pipes which bring clean water to our houses and uh, take wastewater from our houses. We don't see these pipes, but they operate nicely, smoothly, without disruption. And that will be our ideal future, which means the vision of pipe building.